Hey guys, <laughs> it's Nissa, the hypnobirthing midwife, and and Rebecca. Hello, the osteopath. We've got Hello. Nissa chilling out here. <laughs> I'm so happy here. <laughs> this is our fifth and final um, bid in our Christmas series. I'm just going to have a little nap. Um, <laughs> No, no, what are we going to be doing today? So today we're going to be showing you a little exercise mm -hmm. um, which uh, is called a sideline release mm -hmm. and it's absolutely lovely for pregnancy um, and it's, uh, you can find out more details about this. Um, I learnt this from the Spinning Babies mm -hmm. uh, who, which is an amazing resource, a fantastic website, I highly recommend mm -hmm. all pregnant have, women have a look at it. It's, it's www.spinningbabies.com um, So this sideline release is absolutely brilliant for opening up the hips and the pelvis and balancing the two sides of the pelvis. Mm -hmm. um, and tell us about if if that wasn't done, what, what does that kind of mean? So if your pelvis is like, like wonky... Yeah, so if the pelvis is wonky it can affect uh, the, the position of the uterus, mm -hmm. it can affect the position of the baby. Mm -hmm. um, it's massive. It is isn't big, it? yeah, yeah. So, I so a lot, you know, you can't always avoid it, but a lot of breach and back to backs, mm -hmm. baby goes into those positions because it's, it's finding the optimal space. But if you had, if you, if you can find more balance in there, but you know, there's this chance that baby can find the more the extra space the extra space to, to move around for an optimal position yeah as as um all mi i'm a midwife as all midwives know if baby is for example back to back that can add on a few hours sometimes a few days to your birth mm -hmm. so if you can get your baby into a really good position for birth that is a one that's a wonderful gift to yourself yeah so yeah. this so, would be something yeah so definitely anything that helps your body into more mm -hmm. balance is is great good thing okay so we'll show you this now so you need to be um on a sort of table edge of a bed or something like that so mm -hmm. um and you have to be right come right onto the edge of the bed and the idea is you're going to let your head leg you're going to be on your side and let okay. your leg hang down so just lift up your head first of all just get that under there so and what i want you to do is roll onto your side for me this side yeah okay so I'm only going to show it one sided now, um, but you always do this both sides for, for balance. Mm -hmm. um, and what you do is you get the person, you, you do this with a partner, mm -hmm. um, and they have to get your, the person doing the stretch has to come as near to the edge as possible. Mm -hmm. In pregnant women, that often means the bump is hanging over the edge. <laughs> That's fine, but you want to be as near to the edge so that your top leg here can hang freely. Mm -hmm. And it's that top leg hanging freely that gives that lets it l allows everything to let go mm -hmm. so the setup the, when it, once you're in position you just relax and do nothing so the, so the key is all about the setup so you want to make sure there's a nice alignment between the ear the shoulder and the hip mm -hmm. and we're just going to get you even closer to the edge now so i'm gonna just like literally yeah. have a little sleep okay there. and then as you can see here your partner will then um hold on to the hip bone here to stop you tilting forward because what's going to happen we're going to get this leg you straighten this bottom leg let this leg hang down mm. and i'm just going to hold on here that feels good it, it feels amazing doesn't it oh and your body just lets go basically oh that is it's an amazing stretch it's so nice isn't it? how long would we normally be here you can hold this really as long as your body's telling you mm. to do it you know, you can do five minutes plus if, if necessary. Might be it needs less. Um, sometimes with pregnant women, after a minute or so, you can start to get some, you know, a bit of numbness in the toes because you're stretching the sciatic nerves. And if it starts to get a bit uncomfortable, come out of it. Don't mm -hmm. stay there being uncomfortable. Um, lovely. So and, and actually easy to do with a partner. Very easy to do. And all the partner has to do is make sure you're in line Wow. And then stop you tipping forward. And potentially this could be doing such great work for your, you know, pelvis. Yeah, absolutely. It totally balances out the pelvis. And you'll often find one side feels different to the other. And you're like, oh, now I uh -huh. didn't realise that was out of balance. So it's a good check-in. 
something that you can do it's completely free you can do it at home maybe yeah. and this is the once a day it all day i'm so oh, yeah. sorry this, i am gonna eat oh <laughs> <laughs> well, that was serious <laughs> get up and do the school run anyway um brit that was a brilliant one yeah. really easy to do yeah, good perfect and uh, that's our last one ladies for for the series um, so, i'm sure i just as a little finalist i'm just going to show you with so i'm here today with wonderful nissa <laughs> the hypnobirthy midwife there she is and me rebecca davis the osteopath we are in east london so for all the east london mums out there we're here to support um, lots of free information on, particularly on my Facebook page and my website, and um, another. So this is. Uh, can we see it here? Ha ha! It's our wonderful East London Birth and Parenting Group. So full of amazing practitioners, yoga teachers, reflexology, lactation consultants, acupuncture. I could go on forever. Um, really, really special ladies. Yeah. Amazing. Bye. Happy Christmas, Happy Christmas. everyone. Bye.